So let's start with the second step, how to structure our data set. Let's go to Excel. Here we have our data set. This is a Google sheet actually. So first thing I want to block uh, the first row and I want to block this date. Um, be careful every time you want to start a project, go to settings and here click United States. They have the standard approach of dealing with decimals and this is how Cassandra works. So it's really uh, important that you set the settings to United States at the beginning of this project. Let's explore what data we have in our data set in this case. So we have a daily data set in this case, you can have either daily or weekly. If you have daily data set, you need at least one year of data. If you have weekly data set, you need at least three years of data. This is really important. Second thing, the output variable, which is the dependent variable that we want to model. In this case, it's revenue. Um, and we have revenue split by each day. That's it, aggregated revenue. Then we have each campaign type. In this case, we have performance max, Google search brand, Google search on our brand, Facebook conversions, Facebook adder, product catalog sales, influencers, display, TV, radio, magazine, and then COVID. Now, for each media channel, campaign type channel, uh, we have the metric of spend, how much we invested every day in each campaign type that we selected. Keep in mind that we, you can select any type of granularity. We suggest that a campaign type level in which you can have Google search brand and Google search non-brand as the most granular level that you can achieve. You can even split uh, your TV ads into multiple TV channel ads if you want to check and see what TV channels uh, perform the best in your marketing mix. But overall, this is the highest uh, granularity that you can achieve most of the time. Now, um, this data set is one year long. It starts in 2022 and finishes at the end of 2022. And uh, each data we have is date variable split format in this way, which we have year, month, and day. Then you have dependent variable, which is revenue. It can be conversions. It can be any dependent variable that you want to model on. And then you have spent data except COVID, which is a Boolean value in which you had COVID and you did not have COVID. That's it. Hoping that this is clear, let's move forward. We need to start the exploration phase for this data set. In order to start a exploration phase with this data set, let's create an account in Cassandra. 